pulled the cover off. Still looking clean since I washed it before I put it back on. We are going to get a cold start and then head to Mesa Cars and Coffee. Good, man. The cappuccinos are funny. Wow. RB in at 300 zoom. This is super, super sick. That's what I thought. It sounded insane. I mean, you, you heard it when it pulled in. I didn't realize it was an RB. It did have that RB sound, though. It didn't really sound like a 300. But man, this thing's sweet. Some FD action. Finny badge on it. Got a Power FC. Nice. Old school build. Looks like it's probably still on stock twins. Yeah. This thing is super clean. Super clean. Uh, toss in some American muscle here. A couple GNXs. These things are sweet. And definitely one of those cars that's. Uh, you know, you kind of see it, and it's like, okay, yeah, that's that's a great national. Yeah, that would be a Mustang. All right, I'm here with Austin. He's got B8 rear-wheel drive. You want to tell us about it real quick? Yeah, so this is actually the first B8 S4 rear-wheel drive car outside of uh, ECS's, like, prototype car. Uh, this is a prototype rear-wheel drive kit, so it's a bolt-in spooled center diff and front axle plugs. So it's complete, completely revertible from all-wheel drive to rear-wheel drive, like in a weekend. It, it initially, never doing this before, never taking a center diff apart, um, it took me two and a half hours to make it rear-wheel drive. It's awesome. So it's something that you could like rear-wheel drive it for the weekend and then make it all-wheel drive for Monday if you really wanted to. But the car works extremely well. Traction control has to be turned all the way off to make full power. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, no lights on the dash. You could drive it around normally. So That's awesome. Um, we've already taken it out to one drift event. It won't be out tonight at the drift event. Um, but I have everything coming from 034. Uh, dual pulley, super duper throttle body, heat exchanger, all of it. So Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's going to be super, super sick when everything yeah, dialed in. So we're going to make this the four-door demo car. Okay. Yeah, that way it's, it's a bolt-in, nothing super custom on this car, um, but put four people in it, go slide around, and like show it can be done. So That's awesome. Yeah. Right on, man. Thanks yeah. for the uh, little rundown on this sure. thing. It's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Later. Hi. See you, buddy. Well, I didn't talk a whole lot on video at Cars and Coffee. I was just kind of hanging out, talking to everybody, checking out the cars. But uh, I did stop to take some pictures because the S4 is looking super good in this light right now. And uh, also just the scenery. I mean, it's awesome. Palo Verde trees are blooming, so uh, that's why they're all yellow and pollen filled. But I mean, the mountains are great. So I figured it was a good backdrop to take some pictures. Um, Thanks for hanging out today. It was uh, it was fun. You know, I've never been to the Mesa Cars and Coffee, and it was the last one of the uh, season because it's going to get super hot here in the next month or so. So, um, yeah, I just figured I'd check it out. It was a good time. We had a good time. It's always fun to hang out and talk to people and, you know, get back out. Uh, it seems like it's been a while since I've been out hanging out with, uh, with uh, Audi guys. So, it was awesome. But uh, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.